This had better be good. I'm sorry, Lewis. Some guy got the merchandise and I went after him and he, he jumped me and took my phone as well. You couldn't do the job? When you let some punk take your phone? Was it your work phone? Why are you working for me? I can't trust you to do anything! I'm sorry, the guy knew what he was doing. Clearly! Lewis, come back to bed. In a minute, Jessica. You have a lot of making up to do, Adam. First of all, check our suppliers are still busy bees. Get some of our men on it right now. And so how long has she been in the city? Just a couple of weeks, but she's feeling quite down about things. Companies in Aberdeen just aren't hiring at the moment. Well, I'm glad I can help. Will she be okay with reception work? Oh, fair. Of course. She'll take any kind of work at the moment. Well, I'm sure we can get her some hours in the hotel. Listen, sir, I really appreciate this. I owe you one. Don't be daft. It's the least I can do for an old friend. You've always looked out for me. Let me check up on you. Why are you leaving goodie bags around the place? You know, you can't just knock and say hello. Don't waste my time. I'm trying not to be so careless. Evening, Chris. How's it going? I managed to get what you want. Good. Well done. I'm sure that'll be very helpful for all your real business. Anything else? I managed to get this. One of Lewis's men tried to get it too, but he was too slow. This belongs to him. Excellent. If Lewis thinks my presence in Aberdeen is going to be diminished, he's got another thing coming. Right, your next task involves our new guest. I think some quality time is required, and you know what that means. You had a busy day? Just the usual. You know how it is. Anyway, how have you been? Not bad. I'm a bit bored, to be honest. Hello? Oh, hi, Ronald. No. I haven't heard from him since I've been up here. Well, have you been to his flat? All right. I've got to go now. So I'll speak to you later. Okay, thanks for calling about. Something wrong? That was Ronald. He said he hadn't seen or heard from Gary in over a week now. 
Look, I'm gonna have to go to Glasgow. I mean, what if something's happened? Why would you want to do something like that? Because I still care about him, Gordon. You going to Glasgow isn't going to help. I'm sure Ronald's taking care of things. No, I can help. Listen, Faye. I was going to wait for them to call you, but since this seems like the right time, I'll tell you myself. I spoke to the manager of a hotel just outside Aberdeen, and she said there's a receptionist job that you can do. You've got me a job? Well, sort of, yeah. Listen, Faye, if I ask a couple of friends down in Glasgow to look into things, will you consider staying here in Aberdeen and giving this a shot? Okay. Yeah, that would mean a lot. Thanks, Gordon. You've done a lot for me lately. I mean, how am I going to repay you? Repay me? No. I'm just glad you're settling in and that you're safe. for you to finally leave this place. We've got a little job to take care of. Sorry, I was about to say listen to Shona. It's Sarah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know you can't just knock in and walk. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Action. It's still part of, yeah. <laughs> Been over a week now, that's wrong. Let's go. Let's go. I can't trust you to do anything! Do I continue after that or? <laughs> <laughs> Just a minute, Jesse. You. And here we are, this is Graham Noble, the manly man, on one of his manly walks. On location of one of his manly chase scenes. Now you might think that doing a chase scene would tire you out and would have a, a negative effect on your body, but when you're a manly man like me, it doesn't affect you, it just makes you more manly. Now most men couldn't handle this, but me, a manly man, can handle it. And I can even handle carrying a briefcase and a boom microphone at the, the same time. And I don't have running shoes on. I don't have running shoes, shoes on. Very inconvenient for filming. And also, I don't have contact lenses or glasses on. So that means I'm blind and I'm not wearing the appropriate gear, but because I'm so manly, I can handle this.